Welcome back everybody. Today we're here to talk about The Walking Dead Season 10 and some news that we've been getting. Uh, just some, you know, discussions, some topics uh, that have been going around The Walking Dead and some news from cast members. So we're going to break it all down in this video. You guys can give your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Also, I want to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you guys. Happy Holidays. Hopefully you guys have a good holiday season. Uh, but with all that being said, Let's get into it. All right, so The Walking Dead is on break. It's still two months away. Uh, it feels like it's so long, but I'm sure it's going to come by real quick. And I'm sure in January, we're going to start getting a lot of trailers and stuff. Uh, you know, marketing the second half of Season 10, which I'm very excited for to get some more footage. But we still are getting a lot of news because... A lot of the cast members are teasing the second half and talking about how the second half is going to be like. And based on that trailer we did get, the first trailer for season 10B, that second half looks action-packed and story-packed and character-packed. A lot of stuff is happening um, from the Whisper War to the Michonne stuff, so I'm very excited about it. But starting off, I want to talk a little bit about what Samantha Morin, who of course plays Alpha, what she said about the second half of season 10. All right, so Samantha Morin teases the second half of season 10 is going to be really brutal. She says exactly that um, that she, well, this is the report from comicbook.com. They say more can reveal what's to come, but she did tease it's brutal. I think the thing I, I would say to the readers is that there are more twists and more turns. And even I was reading the script like, what? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're doing this today, uh, she said. But I was loving it. All right, the twists and turns are really interesting to me because it probably is referring to things going on with her character in The Whispers uh, because of, you know, she said she was reading the script and it was really, you know, surprising her. And the thing that kind of jumps at me is the Negan stuff. I'm sure something, I feel like something big is going to happen with Negan um, and Alpha. And that's going to be like a big, like it's just going to come at us real quickly. That's what I kind of have a feeling for. Because especially that trailer, there's a lot of scenes where we have Alpha and Negan. Um, a lot of scenes where we have Alpha and Negan together alone. Like there's no other whispers around them. And I know right now Negan is a big popular, you know, theory that he's going to kill Alpha. It's either going to be... Uh, Carol or Negan you guys let me know in the comments down below who do you think it could be but maybe that's what she's referring to maybe Negan is the one to take down Alpha and it just comes at us really quickly um I could see something like that happening I mean these episodes I think Angela King has really uh brought a, a, a breath of fresh air to the show because before for a long time it was like a formula where something big would happen in the mid-season finale or the mid-season premiere or the season finale but now we have things coming at us randomly like Sadiq dying um at the end of episode I think it was like seven or something I mean last episode Rick's final episode was episode five so like these big things aren't happening in the mid-season finales and mid-season premieres like big things are happening all throughout the episode like last season alpha came to the gates of um at the hilltop i think it was like episode 11 or 12 or something like that but the point is like you i feel like those things those big moments usually would happen like i could see alpha like remember negan coming to the gates of alexandria that was like always in the mid season finale or mid season premiere or something like that but now with the whispers, they're just randomly coming and randomly doing big things throughout the season. So, you know, the stakes are always high. And I think it's like a big thing that they've done that really has changed the show, which I'm super happy about. Because now it's like, I remember people used to make jokes like you don't even have to watch the entire season. Just watch like a couple episodes and you'll get the story. But now you can't even miss episodes like you really can't. You have to catch up because big things happen all over the place. So. We'll see what happens. We'll see if Alpha survives until the season finale. I don't see Alpha or Beta surviving the entire Whisper War. You guys let me know how you feel about that. And it's it's interesting because Alpha and Beta are already characters. They have fleshed out a lot. So it's going to be super weird seeing them die. But I'm sure they are going to die. Because I don't think it's going to be a Negan situation where they come to the good side. So... Again, let me know all your thoughts and opinions about it. But really exciting stuff coming with Alpha. And then also she was talking about um, Alpha and Carol. Um, and she said that it's going to get, it's like really complicated, the uh, upcoming confrontation between Alpha and Carol. But that's what I mean. Like it's, it's hard to say what's going to happen because like part of me 
really wants Carol to take down Alpha, but part of me feels like it's going to be Negan because of how much time they're spending together and also Negan's redemption arc. So we'll see which one it is. Um, but again, let me know what you think is going to happen and, or at least what you want to happen. Do you want Negan to take down Alpha or Carol? And speaking of redemption, a big character that Negan needs to get some redemption for is Daryl. And Norman Reedus had some things to say about that, about you know Negan being a possible ally. And this is what Norman really said. I want to go ahead and read this and then we're going to talk about it. So he said, I don't think Daryl holds grudges. I think he's seen everybody do bad stuff, come back around and, he, and redeem themselves. However, it's appropriate at that time and space, Rita said on a recent episode of The Talking Dead. If he's going to punch him in the face, he just punch him in the face. I don't think he'd be like, are you a good guy now or are you a bad guy now? That's not how Daryl Thanks. If Lydia says that Negan protected her, I believe her. So I think my only plan to go forward with that is to look him in the face and see if he's lying to me. But if he's not lying to me, that means all these other people are in the wrong. And if he's telling the truth, good on him. All right. So that was really well said there because um, he it, it makes sense because Daryl's not that type of character to think about it too hard. Like he's not a character that you need to do something in order to change his mind. Like I could I could see. Like the way Daryl looks at Negan, I could see the same. Like I could see him looking at Negan the same way, even if Negan ends up killing um, Alpha, because right now, you know, Lydia already protected Negan, and Daryl likes and trusts Lydia. So I feel like in the back of Daryl's mind, he trusts Negan and knows that Negan has changed because it's been so long. He just isn't like Daryl's not like that super friendly of a guy, no matter who you are. So, like, especially if you're Negan, he's never going to even show the slightest amount of, um, you know, just friendliness or anything like that. So even if I, I do think in the back of Daryl's head, I think there's a little part of Daryl does trust Negan. Um, but I don't think he's ever really going to, you know, I, hopefully those two have like a moment, like a moment where they're actually on screen together and there's not, you know, any intensity going on or there's no. Uh, problems between them i just want to see those two have a scene where they're just talking and maybe actually uh opening up to each other i think that would be interesting but anyways going back to what i was saying that's why i kind of want um i kind of want carol to kill alpha because if negan kills alpha that's going to be awesome for negan's redemption but in a way i feel like negan is already redeemed um uh, I mean, killing Alpha would definitely do the job if he if because if there's any little doubt remaining, which I think there is, because Negan is still being put in the cell even though he's out working. At the end of the day, he's putting back in the cell and he can't be with other characters at night and stuff like that. So I feel like if Negan is the one to kill Alpha, then that stuff would definitely change. Like he would definitely be be able to be part of the group 100. percent So that's that's what he probably has going for him. Um, but I just quickly want to share that because, um, it does, that, I think that's what everybody is kind of, uh, waiting to see what happens between those two characters, because right now, out of all the characters on the show, it looks like Daryl is probably the one that, you know, hates Negan the most. It's also interesting how Carol and Negan, like, they've never really, I mean, I'm sure they've met because so much time has passed off screen, so I'm sure they have met, but we have never had seen those two have a scene together. And it's interesting to me to see how those two are like the top runners to kill Alpha. So maybe whoever kills Alpha, I feel like that could also bond them, especially Negan. Because we don't really know how Carol feels about Negan because they have no scenes together or anything like that. So that's also that Negan also has that going for him if he kills Alpha. That would sort of, in a way, bring him and Carol together. And, and I could even say, I could even see like Carol going up to Negan and saying like, thank you and stuff like that, which would be like really interesting and really crazy to watch because like we have never seen those two have a scene together so um yeah really exciting stuff could come out of any you know situation which is why i'm really excited to see what really does happen but again let me know what you think in the comments down below and then lastly we have some news about carol and ezekiel because melissa mcbride she was recently a uh, german comic-con um, and she said that she doesn't think that Carol and Ezekiel's story is finished, which is interesting to me. This is exactly what she said. She said, I don't think that Carol and Ezekiel's story is finished. I know that they care for each other. That's for sure. Uh, McBride said at a German Comic Con Dormund. 
Uh, Carol's also in a constant state of recovery from her experiences and learning and growing and becoming a stronger person and seeing all that she's capable of. Everything she's never ever thought she could be. She's a survivor. She always will be. All right, so this is actually really interesting to me because I've been waiting to see what happens with these two. Like, this is a really interesting little storyline. And I say little because there's so much other stuff going on right now in The Walking Dead. And remember, Ezekiel has that lump on his neck. Like, I, I almost forgot about about that too because of how much is going on and or at least where all the focus is at right now with the Michonne and the CRM and the Rick movies and what's happening with her and then on top of that the Whisper War so remember Ezekiel has that um, lump in his neck and they barely I mean they had that one episode already talked about it but that's really it they barely talked about it after that so we'll see what happens like Ezekiel thinks this the uh, chances of him surviving is very slim because of um, that not because of what happens to his neck, not because of the lump, because remember he said he had fa that runs in his family and he had family members survive it. It's just that right now they're in the apocalypse and they don't have that many resources. So he thinks that there's a very, uh, you know, slight chance that he would survive. So I was worried for a second that something could happen to Ezekiel and then, you know, before him and Carol will reunite. But it does look like they are going to reunite here based on what Melissa McBride said. Which I'm really interesting, um, or I'm really interested and excited to see how it happens and what really goes down. Like, are they gonna get back together 100%, or are they just gonna come to good terms and leave it at that? Um, and I'm really interested to see what Carol's reaction is gonna be like that, and just in general to see what really happens to Ezekiel. I really hope he survives. I like Ezekiel a lot. And a lot of it has to do with Kari Payton's uh, performance. Like, he is so fun to watch on screen. It's unbelievable. He's such a good actor also. And I think they have done a great job with TV show Ezekiel. And I, I want to see Ezekiel stick around for as long as possible. I do like him. So, let me know in the comments down below uh, what do you think is going to happen to Ezekiel. I think a little piece of information there was very important saying that he had family survived this ex exact thing. So because of that, it's definitely possible. It's just that the resources aren't there. So hopefully they find a way around it. But hopefully he does survive. Let me know in the comments down below if you think he's going to survive or what do you think is going to happen be, uh, to him and between him and Carol. I just quickly wanted to share this information because it does look like that's also going to be an important storyline in the second half of season 10. But with all that being said, I am going to wrap it up there. I just wanted to share this information because we have a lot of, you know, Whenever there's ever like, like comic cons or conventions or anything like that, we always get a lot of information. So I like making these videos talking about the information we get. But let me know all your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Uh, once again, I am going to wrap it up there. And once again, I want to say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. Thank you guys for an awesome year, really. This has been such an awesome year for me on YouTube and, you know, all the support I've been getting and, you know, you guys watching my videos and the walk in the community in general is awesome. So thank you guys again for all the support. Hopefully you guys have an awesome holiday. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.